Hey guys, what's up? This is Reaper Digital. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your fans not spinning on your EVJA RTX 3090 FTW3 edition graphics card. And to do that, you're going to want to download a program from the manufacturers that's called Precision X1. It's from EVJA. So I'll leave the link to the website in the description of this video. But it looks like this, and you want to want to scroll down and you're going to want to click on Precision Standalone and it'll download the file that you're going to want to open once it's done. But it's going to ask you to install it and hit next a couple of times. It's also going to ask uh, if you want to update your firmware, which yes you do because that'll update the firmware to your GPU. Now if you have a different card from a different manufacturer then you're going to want to download MSI Afterburner. It's a different program. A lot of cards can use it. Um, but yeah, if you have EVJA, this is what you're going to do. So after you download the program, it's going to look like this. And yeah, so in order to change the fan speed, you want to click on the fan speed. And you can choose from presets over here that change the way the fans, uh, temperatures, and fan speed uh, react to each other. But uh, basically, I just went with custom, and I made my own on my own preset over here, zero is my preset, and I can load it. That's the preset I've been messing with. Um, you're also going to want to click fan control and link all fan curves if you want all the fans to do the same thing. So that way you make the change on one fan, it does it for all. It's just more simple that way. But um, yeah, so that's what you're going to want to do, and then you can hit apply and save it if you want to save it as a preset that you want to tinker with. Um, now you'll see your fan speeds right here. They're not spinning right now because I have mine set to 35 degrees Celsius uh, and then they start spinning. But if I were to set it to like say 30 degrees Celsius, hit apply, save that for my preset. So now I just messed up my preset. Oh well, no worries, I'll change it later. But you go back and now my fans are spinning to try to cool it down below 30 degrees Celsius. And now, while I have that uh, working like that, um, I want to tell you about a setting called temperature hysteresis. I don't even know. I can't pronounce it. Sorry. Uh, but anyways, what it does is I have it set to 5 degrees Celsius. So once it gets to 30 degrees Celsius on my fan curve here, um, it's going to turn my fans to 20% fan speed. But the 5 degrees Celsius uh, temperature setting here is once it gets to 30, it's not going to turn off until it goes to 25 for the 25 degrees Celsius. That way, your fans aren't turning on and off when your, you know, your temperature gets to a certain thing, and it just keeps them from turning on and off a lot. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. You can change the LEDs on your GPU as well. You can do it with temperature if you want. That way, you know, they change a different color for what temperature it is. But you know, I just like static color. I'm fine with that. But yeah, make sure you hit apply to whatever fan curve you set up, and then you can save it if you want to. Click on the preset and save it. That way you can load it um, later. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope this video helps you guys, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll try to answer any questions you guys have in the comments, but uh, yeah, take it easy.